you are welcome to the live segment of the program at Spelling Bee right here uh, in the studios of Anambra Broadcasting Service, 88.5 FM Orca, Heartbeat of the East. By the way, my name is Sandra Atma once again. Let's see how we're going to do it this morning. I have an amazing kid with me, and um, I don't know what happened to the other person. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the person got sick or something. I don't know. Blondie doesn't know. But then the show has to go on, and um, we have someone here with us. Good morning, girl. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. You look pretty. Thank you. By the way, her name is Rejoice. And I've got um, my George, Chinetarem. Good morning to you, Chinetarem. Good morning. Okay, yes. So, guess what? We have Rejoice. And Rejoice is ready to spell. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, but before we kick off, Rejoice, I know you are 11 years. But then, what class are you in? Just one. Just as one. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. What's your favorite subject? In school, English. English. So that means you're you're gonna do a great job this morning. Oh, did you just say no? Oh, why no? <laughs> okay, so I need you to have that confidence in yourself. Okay, as much as um you are the only person competing this morning, you need to get at least twelve words, um, twenty words correctly. Okay, before I can actually give you what you deserve. If not. You end up being the second person, the second winner, second position. And I know you would have won that, right? Okay. So, I'll give you the rule. Rule is just, or our rules are just so simple. Okay? Simple as ABC. All right? So, rule number one. Please listen attentively. When I give you a word, ask for the meaning. Okay? before you start spelling. Now, rule number two, you get to pick a number. When you pick, I give you what's in there, and then you spell. Rule number three, that's a pen and the paper in front of you. I need you to write first before you start spelling out. Are we good to go? Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. I need you to shout, I'm ready. I'm ready. That's more like it. So, baby girl, Pick a number. Let's do this. Mm, number five. Okay, so number five. Number five is right here in front of me. And number five says, acquitted. The meaning. Okay, the meaning is um, to free someone from a criminal charge. Acquitted. A double C R I T E D. Acquitted. Now that was wrong. Correct spelling is A C Q U I T C E D. Acquitted. Pick another number. Number two. Oh, number two. Number two says usable. 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 U S E A B L E. Okay. Somehow that was wrong. Because U S E A B L E is actually the American spelling. But then, what we make use of here is British. So, the correct spelling is U-S-A-B-L-E. Pick another number. Number three. Number three. Okay. Number three says commitment. 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 C O M. C O M I double T M E N T. Okay. Again, that was incorrect. Commitment is C O M M I T M E N T. Commitment. 
All right, pick another number. Go ahead. Number four. Number what? Four. Okay, number four. Number four is readable. 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 R E A B L E. Spell that again. I didn't get you. R E A B L E. Readable. Able to be read. Readable. Readable. And that was wrong. Correct spelling is R E A D A B L E. Readable. Okay, girl. Pick another number. Six. Okay, so number six. Number six says buoyant. Buoyant. It means. Okay, it means um, involving or engaged in much successful trade. Buoyant. Buoyant. B o y a n t. Okay, that was wrong. Correct spelling is B U O Y A N T. Buoyant. Okay, pick another number. Seven. Excuse me. Seven. Okay, number seven. Now, number seven says concede. Concede. C O N. S I D E. Uh, okay, that was incorrect. Now, if you had turned the S to C, I would have given it to you. Correct spelling is C O N C E D E. Concede. C O N C E D E. Okay, girl, pick another number. Eight. Number what? Eight. Okay, so number eight. Number eight says desperate. Desperate. Spell the word desperate. Go ahead. D e s p a r a t e. Spell again. D e s p a r a t e. Is that your final spelling? Yes. Correct spelling is D e s p e. R A C E. Okay. You can have a number. Nine. Number nine. Okay. So number nine says colleague. Colleague. Yes. Someone who walks in the same office with you. Colleague. C O L L I G E. Colleague. That was wrong again. Correct spelling is. C O L L E A G U E, colleague. Sweetie, pick another number. Ten. Number ten. Number ten says calendar. Calendar. C A C A L E N D E R. D E R. I saw that coming though. Okay, so. Correct spelling is C A L E N D A R, and not E R. All right. Okay, girl. Pick another number. Eleven. Number eleven. Now number eleven says completely. 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 C O M P L E T L Y. Is that your final spelling? No. Let me have your final spelling. Final spelling. Completely. C O M P L E T E L Y. Beautiful. Correct. C O M P. E L E T E L Y. Okay. Pick another number. Twelve. 
Number 12. Number 12. Number 12. Number 12. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Go ahead. D E F I N E T E L Y. Okay, spell that again. D E F I N E T E L Y. That was wrong. Definitely wrong. Correct spelling is D E F I N I T E L Y. Definitely. Pick another number. 13. Number 13. Number 13 says embarrass. Embarrass. To embarrass someone. Embarrass. E M B R A S X. Spell again. E M B R A S S. No. Correct spelling is E M B A R A S S. Embarrass. Okay? All right, girl, pick another number. 14. Number 14. Spell the word 40. It's a figure, like 3940. F O U R T Y. Hmm. Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? Yes. And that was wrong. F O R T Y. 40. Okay? So sorry about that. Okay. So please pick another number. 15. Number what? 15. Number 15. Okay. So number 15 says friend. Spell the word friend. F R I E N D. Correct. F R I E N D. Pick another number. 16. Number 16. Okay. Number 16. It seems like we're dealing with fry here. Spell the word Friday. F R I D A Y. F R I D A Y. Correct. Okay. So pick another number. 17. Number 17. Okay, so where is my number 17? Okay, so number 17 says forward. To move forward. F O R W A R D. Correct. Okay. Pick another number. 18. Number 18. All right, 18 says finally. Finally. Spell the word finally. F I N A L L Y. Correct. Pick another number. 19. Number 19. Okay, so number 19 says environment. Environment. E-N-V-I-R-O-N-M-E-N-T. Did you say M-M or M-N? No. Which one? E-N-V-I-R-O-N-M-E-N-T. Is that your final spelling? Is that your final spelling? Let me have your final spelling. E N V I R O N M E N T. Okay. That was correct. E N V I R O N M E N T. Environment. Pick another number. 21. 21. Okay, so where is number 21? Okay, so number 21 says ah, this is very simple. Business. Go ahead. Business. 
B U S I N E S S. Business. Okay. Correct. Pick another number. Twenty-two. Number twenty-two says believe. Spell the word believe. B B E L I E V E. Believe. Interesting. That was correct. Okay, so pick another number. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay, twenty-three says across. Across. A C O S C R O S S. Cross. Beautiful. Spell the word aggressive. Aggressive. A G G A W G R E S S I V E. Is that your final spelling? Final spelling. Yes. Oh, I love the fact that you're smiling right now. Yeah, your teeth is so white. Okay. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah,、uh, that was correct. Okay. So pick another number. Twenty-four. Twenty what? Four. Okay. Twenty-four says government. Spell the word government. G O V E R N M E N T. Correct. Okay. Let's see. Pick another number. Go ahead. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. So twenty-five says interrupt. Spell the word interrupt. Go ahead. I N T E R R U P T. That was correct. Okay. So now you're getting back your confidence. I love that. <laughs> I'll give you another number. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five says knowledge. K K N O W L E D G E. Correct. Pick another number. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay, twenty-six says necessary. Necessary. N e c c e s s a r y. Ah,、uh, I saw that coming. That was incorrect. Necessary doesn't have double c. It's just a single c. Okay, it's n e c e s s a r y. Necessary. Okay. All right. So pick another number. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Spell the word politician. Someone who is involved in politics. Politician. P O L I T I C I A N. Correct. Okay. Pick another number. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Twenty-eight says propaganda. The meaning. Okay. So now, the word propaganda means information, especially of a biased nature, a biased nature, or you know, misleading. Propaganda. Exactly. Propaganda. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you want the meaning again? I give it to you. I said it's actually information, especially of a biased one. Okay. P R O P E R D A N D A. Spell again, please. P R O P E R G A N D A. Propaganda. That was wrong. Propaganda. You should have turned the e to a. It's actually p r o p a g a n d a propaganda. Okay, so pick your final number. Your final number. 
Final number. Pick your final number. Thirty. Number what? Thirty. Number thirty. Okay, so let's look for number thirty. Number thirty says tattoo. You know, something that is being drawn on someone's body. Tattoo. C T A T T O O. Beautiful. T A T T O O. Tattoo. Okay, so right now um, we'll have to go on a break, and when we return, uh, we shall tell you what her score is. And um, by the end of the day, we get to find out if she actually took the second place or the first place. So please stick around. We will be back. All right, uh, welcome back, and um, it's time for us to figure out what score uh, rejoice ended up with this morning. So back to you, my George. Okay. Go ahead. Um, Rejoice was asked 29 questions. Okay. And out of the 29, she answered 16. So for the 16, each has two points and she got 32 points in total. Okay, so 32. Quite interesting. And look at her, she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, Rejoice, how does that make you feel? How do you feel about your 32 uh, max? You keep smiling, talk to me. How do you feel? Do you feel good about yourself or something? Yes. You feel good? Okay, that's interesting. So um, we already have something for you, okay? So this is basically for you on behalf of um, the staff and management of Anna Broadcasting Service. We hand over this to you, and um, once again, congratulations, and hopefully, 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 when next you come, you probably do a better job, but trust me, that was good, okay? Thank you. Hey, by the way, what would you like to be when you grow up? What would you like to be when you grow up? An engineer. An engineer. Oh, that's that's interesting. Okay, an engineer, that's good. Okay, good to hear that. And um, we wish you the very best of luck, okay? Anyway, that's the much we can take on the show. And by the way, you can actually be a sponsor of this program. All you need to do is call the numbers 080-338-88526. Again, 080-338-88526. Five two six. Okay, call us and let's have a little conversation. It's just a token, and um, you become the sponsor of this program. By the way, my name is Sandra Abba. You can call me the blended one. I'll be back next week Saturday, and of course, I've got my George. Chinemo. Okay, and our beautiful contestant, Rejoice. Rejoice once again. Thank you for coming around. See you next week Saturday. We are out of here. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>